what's up youtube it's the next day after uh, going fishing at my aunt's pond we ended up keeping four crappy and i'm gonna today take you step by step on how to cook those and fillet them but before we do that i got a special present for christmas it's a brand new bubble blade electric fillet knife and i'm gonna do an unboxing video here see what's in the in this case and uh, go from there okay folks here's the uh, bubble blade electric fillet knife Comes in a very, very nice textured case. Heavy duty, this handle here. Nice zippers. All right, let's get into it. All right. Looks like we have four sets of knives here. A battery. Pretty sweet little charging button there, check it charge. Uh, instructions. Looks like we have a seven, two nines and a 12 inch knife. Charging cord, very nice grips on this thing, just like any of the bubble blades. Pretty snazzy. Uh, battery has two clips here on the sides. Looks like it just slides off. All right, let's show you how to take the old battery off. Push these clips in, slides right off. So they give you two batteries, it's pretty nice. Very solid handle here. Clips back on. I guess the only thing left to do is uh, try this thing out. I guess the hardest decision of today is going to be which knife to use. Uh, definitely need a flexible one for flaying the crappy. So let's pull these knives out and look at the difference. So here's the Thor knives. Seven inch E-Flex. I believe that's probably the one we're going to use. Nine inch to stiff ones. E-stiff, they call it. Nine inch, 12 inch. Don't believe I need the stiff ones. Yep, I believe we're definitely gonna go for the seven inch E-Flex. All right, since we're going with the seven inch E-Flex, I gotta put it in the handle here. Um, looks like there's a lock and tab right here. I have not put a blade in it yet, so bear with me. Push that down and locks in place pretty easy just notice they do have a safety trigger right here pretty nice especially if you're around kids you can lock it all right let's get some fish all right a little uh little tip for anybody cleaning fish i like to put my fish on ice overnight it makes the meat a whole lot more firm and it makes it easier to cut i learned that when i was using the uh, folding bubble blade I was laying the fish, and it made it a whole lot easier to cut through all that meat and bones when it was a little bit cold. So, just a pro tip there. I have not cleaned a fish ever with an electric fillet knife, so bear with me. Uh, I like to cut behind the gill plate here at an angle, right behind the fin, and then run down the backbone to the tail. Leave part of the tail there and flip it over, and you run down to the skin and straight down the fillet. All right, let's do it. What's up, buddy? One of the big ones. Is that a big one? Is that the huge one I catch? Uh, I don't know if this is one of the bigger ones or not. All right, flip her over. Yeah, I think that's the one. I think that's the one. Think it is? Yeah, I think that's the one. 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 Yeah
guessing that's the biggest one. Nazi. There you go. One crappy fillet. Just gotta cut out the ribs. All right, so what you gotta do is, see these ribs right here? You gotta cut those out, all right? You wanna eat them with bones and that'd be pretty awful for your mouth. Is that one of the bigger ones? What do you mean the bigger ones? It's yeah. one of the bigger crappy you got, yeah. Yeah, but that's the one right here is bigger. This yeah. one's bigger, that one of mine. Mama still has mine. One crappy fillet right there. Which one is? Can you cook All some? Right, just flip it over. Do the same thing on this side. And I'm going to continue to do the rest of them, uh, which is three more, and then I'm going to show you how we prep it to cook. I like to just put all my fillets in a bag of uh, water and shake them up real good and clean them off before we have the next step. Shake them, buddy. And I'll do one more rinse before I uh, batter them as well. One it. Go ahead. All right, we've got our fish cleaned up. Uh, what Garrett likes us to do is cut the fillets in little nuggets, and that's how we're going to fry them up. So bear with me, I'm gonna cut these up and I'll go to the next step. Yeah. All right, so we've got our crappy fillets cut up into cubes. Um, some people don't like this, but uh, our favorite way to do this is to add mustard. All right, but add some mustard. If somebody doesn't like a fishy taste, this is the best way to do it. The mustard kills the fishy taste, even though crabby doesn't have it anyways, but it makes the uh, batter stick to it real well as well. Is that enough? More, buddy. That's cute. Okay. Now I'll try this. All right, yep. Yeah. All right, mix it up, bud. Ooh. Get your hands all in there. Swirl it all around. There you go. I like the smell of mustard. Smells good? Yeah. Okay. Um, Are they coated real good? Almost. Get them all good, okay? Cover all of them. Stir it all up. Just grab hold it, flip it. There you go. Smash the thumbs up if you uh, think Garrett's doing a good job <laughs> getting here, getting dirty with Daddy. I think it's done. That looks good. <laughs> Just like that. You need to go wash your hands. Oh, dude. So we like to use Moss's uh, seafood breader. It's also good on chicken. Just FYI. So we're gonna take our mustard covered crappy. Put it in the bag. Great, you gonna help me? Yeah. All right, dump that whole bag in here because we don't have a whole lot left. All right, just pick it up. Dump that out good. Oh, there's some, there's some still on the bottom. Oh, there we That's go. That's pretty good, we still got a little bit left. Well, right, excuse right. me, there's some. Yeah, all right. 
Zip her up. This thumb right there has it. I'm gonna give her a good shake, buddy. Just make sure it's zips. Shake, shake, shake. All right, gonna move on to the next step, y'all. Stand by. All right, Garrett's got our crappy all breaded up in this bag here. Next thing is to use peanut oil. That's what we like to use. We're gonna fry it in this pan. I don't have a deep fryer yet. Uh, maybe that'll be in the future, maybe a birthday present, I don't know. But uh, we just do it stove top with just a little bit of oil. Go ahead, bud. Sorry, my dogs are fighting in the background. Mm -hmm. It's good, buddy. Thank you. Next tip is get your oil nice and hot. And what's a fish fry without tater tots and fries? Oh, yeah. All right. Time to fry them up. A little test. Almost done, Dad. Yeah, I think they are, but Yep, I think we need to pull them off. What you think? Ready to eat them? Yep. You only have five minutes left on the fries as well. Good timing, huh? Hope y'all enjoyed this video with the uh, bubble blade fillet knife and uh, me and Garrett cooking up a little fish. But it's definitely time for us to eat. Mm -hmm. So if you would, just like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. And please leave a thumbs up for the little man here for giving me a hand cooking tonight. What do you want to say? See y'all? Don't forget the wide scrap. See y'all.